Hi Audacious, my name's Julie. I'm an area pastor for the east of Manchester. Um, it's my privilege today to bring our devotions, so I hope you're all well. Um, so, have you ever lost anything that is really precious to you? About a few weeks ago, I lost my tortoise, Ernie, uh, in our back garden, and Ernie means the world to me. I've had him about 13 years. Um, I'd put him out in his run, but he escaped. And our garden at the time was just a mess, a real neglected mess, full of weeds, full of dead twigs, um, very, very, very long grass, thorns, ivy. And it was just totally neglected, perfect for Ernie, um, a naughty toy toy who could go and hide, get lost. And he would have been having an absolute blast, a whale of a time digging down deep and um, not knowing the dangers really of digging down deep in that garden and hiding in the overgrown chaos that was my garden. And I've added a photo on the written devotionals just for you to have a look at where I actually um, found him and you'll see um, how bad it actually was. And while I was looking for him, I was really frustrated because I thought... Julia, if you hadn't have let your garden get so bad, how did it get in this state in the first place? And that if I'd have kept up with the weeding and the little things, um, it wouldn't have happened because I would have been able to see him really clearly. He would have had nowhere to hide. And, it, you know, it just wouldn't have been the issue that it was. And it kind of reminded me a little bit of my walk with God and one of my favourite verses. I'm going to read it to you. Hebrews 12 verse 1. Therefore, since we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and sin, and the sin that so easily entangles. Now, entangles, that's one of the words that I was really thinking of. And let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. So, um, important and precious things what God wants to share with us can sometimes get lost and blocked out if we don't spend time with him or let sin get in the way. And if we don't tend the garden of our heart and our mind, allowing God's good seed to find soil in which to grow, we could easily get entangled and stuck, not growing as we should and held back from flourishing. So it's so important to make time with God daily and to listen to him and not let anything get in the way of reaching our full potential in him. So after losing Ernie for about three very tearful, I must say I did cry a lot, um, days, it made me take action and I started to tend our neglected garden. I was weeding. It was hard work because I'd let it get in. Well, we had, me and the husband, uh, we'd let it get in such a bad state. You know, it was neglected and we hadn't taken time that we needed to take for it to to um, look decent. Anyway, so it now looks a lot better because we've taken the time. It's not perfect, but it's a work in progress. So now the first sign of any weed, and I'm there. I'm there with the uh, weed killer zapping them and throwing them out. Yes, I won't let them, I won't let it get overgrown again. Anyway, weeds like sin can be very subtle. And before you know it, they can take root and very quickly become the main feature in what should be a beautiful garden. So we need to throw off anything that could get in the way of ourselves and God. Watch our thoughts, watch your thoughts and be careful of what we watch and listen to and nip things in the bud straight away and quick. See, we're meant to be, aren't we, a glorious display of what life with Jesus in our hearts can be and for the world to see, not being held back and entangled by sin but free to run with perseverance, the road marked out for us. Persevere. I've got to persevere with my garden. I've got to persevere with those weeds. I cannot let it get to that state again. Sin and distractions will keep coming back, but it's our job to keep on track, not allowing 
anything to hold us back and for us not to get lost. So I know that um, gardens, you know, I mean, it all started in a garden, didn't it? Gardens are um, a really good way to um, kind of bring out things about the word of God, aren't they? So I, I really enjoyed that today. Um, so I'm just going to pray for our day now. So dear God, thank you that you want us to have a close relationship with you. And that in itself is absolutely amazing, isn't it? Please help us to do our part and thank you for being so faithful. Amen. So my tweet is nip it in the bud. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.